Military personnel who are exposed to combat, and in particular to high explosives, frequently have persistent neuropsychiatric symptoms. Many of these symptoms, including cognitive dysfunction, behavior and mood disturbances, substance abuse, and suicidality, are often reported in chronic traumatic encephalopathy, or CTE. However, data on CTE in military personnel are lacking. In this study from a brain bank, researchers performed neuropathological examinations on 225 donated brains of deceased U.S. military personnel to assess for CTE by immunohistochemical analysis for phosphorylated tau. They also retrospectively gathered data on exposure to blasts, traumatic brain injury, and participation in contact sports to evaluate potential associations with CTE. Ten of the 225 brains showed lesions consistent with CTE, with generally minimal pathologic changes. CTE was numerically more common in those who had been exposed to blasts than in those who had not. In addition, CTE was numerically more common in those with a history of either military impact traumatic brain injury or civilian non-sports related traumatic brain injury, as compared with those without such exposure and civilian traumatic brain injury showed the stronger association of the two. In all 10 CTE cases, there was a history of participation in contact sports. The authors conclude that CTE was infrequent in a convenient sample of brains from deceased military personnel. Civilian traumatic brain injuries and participation in contact sports appeared more strongly associated with CTE than military exposures but causal conclusions could not be made because of the small number of CTE cases and wide confidence intervals. Full study results are available at NEJM.org.